Good morning, Tri-State. Well, Tri-State heroin treatment advocates say that the epidemic could get worse if Congress repeals the Affordable Care Act. That's because the ACA helped lead Ohio's expanded Medicaid program. And we spoke to one former heroin user who said Medicaid helped her get the medicine she needed to stay alive. I'm more so worried about everybody else because if they don't have some doors being able to be opened for them, what's going to happen? They're ultimately going to um, self-medicate or end up in jails and prison. WDCPO.com reporter Lisa Bernard Kuhn joins me now. This is a story that you've been following for quite some time. Let's start with what did the Affordable Care Act do to help those that needed treatment? How did it help? So when the Affordable Care Act was put into place, it expanded insurance coverage to millions of Americans because of Medicaid expansion. But another key thing that it did is it began requiring insurers to provide coverage for things like mental health illness and addiction treatment or addiction disorders. And so just to put that in perspective, we know about a million Ohioans received insurance through Medicaid expansion in the new marketplace. And about half of those, 500,000, have tapped into those uh, that new coverage because of a mental health need, including addiction treatment services. So I guess the question is what happens now if that is repealed or when it is repealed under the current administration? Yeah, we've talked to a lot of treatment centers, a lot of um, agencies that are serving tens of thousands of local Cincinnati residents and they're really concerned about what's going to happen to their recovery and their treatment if they lose this coverage either through you know losing Medicaid or their health insurance through the marketplace. Okay so let me play devil's advocate to this in a situation obviously those that are um, impacted and seeking treatment think this is a good thing but are there is there is there opposition out there maybe even not if politically or otherwise of people saying we shouldn't be paying for treatment for those individuals? Well Medicaid is an incredibly expensive program and so when you look at the decision that Congress has in front of them they're really interested in capping how much we're spending at the federal level on Medicaid and they want to give states more control about just what that bill is going to look like over time and so that's really where you see the pushback. Do you have any idea is this is this these types of programs what is in the crosshairs of, of repealing? Yes Medicaid is the big one that we're likely to see some big changes to as you know Congress takes this up. Your work is on WDCPO.com Lisa we really appreciate it thank you. Thank you.